In the world of football management, Hus Hiddink is a legend. He took South Korea and Australia through their best FIFA World Cup campaigns, and earlier this year, the Hiddink Magic helped Russia to the semi-finals of the European Championship. But when we caught up with him at the Dutch Footballer of the Year Awards, we chatted about his time in charge of his native Dutch national team and the 1998 FIFA World Cup. The venue was France, and the Dutch fans were out in force. For the first time in the tournament's history, 32 teams were involved. Holland were one of the favourites. Hiddink's squad was arguably the strongest since the legendary Dutch sides of the 1970s. This was Hiddink's first taste of World Cup competition. He'd previously managed with some success at club level. How far could Holland go this time? In the group stage, they were wildly inconsistent. A 5-0 demolition of South Korea featured five different names on the score sheet, suggesting this was an attacking force in the mould of their illustrious forebears. But this was sandwiched between a stalemate against their European neighbours, Belgium, and another draw with Mexico, a game in which they'd led 2-0. It was hardly the form of potential champions. But thanks to their superior goal difference, they came through as group winners and faced Yugoslavia in the last 16. When Dennis Bergkamp opened the scoring, it appeared the Dutch had found that elusive top gear. Yugoslavia soon equalised, however, and then earned a contentious penalty. Fredrik Mijatovic, who four years earlier was under the tutelage of Hiddink at Spanish club Valencia, stepped up. Despite the alarm, Hiddink kept faith with his starting 11, and it paid off. With extra time looming, Edgar David's shot found its way into the net, sending Holland into the quarter-finals. We played both a good game and we were lucky on, uh, on the failure of my good player, Mijatovic, which I had in uh, Valencia before, which I know now very good. And at the end we had, uh, we had a good press and, and Edgar Davids, who, uh, who played a terrific game, scored the very important goal. In the quarterfinals they faced Argentina, who'd won all their group games before coming through a penalty shootout in the last 16. It was also the country that had lifted the trophy in 1978 at the expense of the Dutch. I had less experience than I have now, of course, then you are more nervous. But we, we had a lot of confidence out of this uh, first group. And also playing Yugoslavia gives a lot of confidence. And I think we, uh, we were not that nervous. Any nerves they did have were soon settled. After just 12 minutes, Bergkamp's header set up Patrick Kleibert for the opening goal. But just as against Yugoslavia, they were pegged back. Claudio Lopez easily broke the Dutch offside trap to equalise just five minutes later. Midway through the second half, a clumsy Arthur Newman tackle and some Diego Simeone theatrics saw the Dutchman earn his second yellow card. The advantage was now with Argentina. But a moment of madness from Ariel Ortega, the man many had dubbed the new Maradona, meant the rest of the game would be played ten aside. Once again, the game seemed destined for extra time. Then came a moment of magic. Tremendous long ball diagonal. And Dennis controlled it right foot and turned. One defender came along and, and, and shot. Yeah, that was, that was one of those key moments in, in, in a career. Dennis Bergkamp's 89th minute winner sealed Holland's place in the semi-final and left an indelible mark on the tournament. We played, I think, one of the best games ever. I think it was one of the, the games where the Dutch team could, uh, yeah, could show what the, the possibilities were, which were very good. And 
I think this was one of the most most dramatic games for in, in 98. Defending champions Brazil stood in their path. The Dutch fans descended on Marseille in their thousands to watch the heroes face the likes of Ronaldo, Rivaldo and Bebeto. Holland were good, Brazil were still the favourites. The first half was a period of missed opportunities. Patrick Kluivert was the guilty party on more than one occasion. But on the other hand, Brazil had Ronaldo, and through most of the 1998 tournament, he was at the height of his powers. A minute after the restart, the Brazilian talisman who'd played in Holland as a teenager shrugged off Philip Koku and scored. For the first time in the tournament, the Dutch were behind. Hiddink made two substitutions. Could his team respond? Three minutes from the final whistle, Patrick Kluivert made amends for his earlier missed chances. Once again, Holland had struck very late. The match went to extra time with the prospect of sudden death. But this evening, 30 minutes extra play couldn't separate the teams. The death would be a lingering one via a penalty shootout. Both teams started perfectly. Two penalties each, two goals each. Philip Koku's miss then opened the door for the Brazilians. Tafarel then saved Frank de Boer's penalty. Holland were out. Once again, a strong Dutch side would go home empty-handed. Well, it's a pity that we did not, not get into the final because of the penalty, the failure in the penalty shootout. But once more, I think this team was worth to, to play a final and even having a chance to win final. But that's if, if, and if doesn't, doesn't count in football.